Hey there Sabre friends, Space Windu here from the FX Sabre forums. I wanted to talk to you today about different types of lighting for your lightsaber. So the lightsaber blade. Now, there's a couple different ways you can do it uh, and especially nowadays there are new technologies coming out um, that you know give you different options for your lightsaber and never before have we actually had so many options to choose from and have you ever wondered how bright each option was how bright your lightsaber really is well I have a light meter here uh, this was sent to me by my friend Steven and we're gonna use it today um, along with this box that I made okay so the light meter uh, eye goes into this hole I made at the bottom of the box it's pretty tight um, so no lights getting through there and then I have a hole on each side about an inch to allow a blade, a lightsaber blade to pass through. Okay and um, what what we're gonna do is um, I'm just gonna give you a little explanation about each type of lighting for your lightsaber, uh, each choice that you have and then we'll go through what I actually have on hand here um, to see how bright each option really is and then the different colors. So certain options like my string blades, um, the segmented style string blades that you can still create for your lightsaber, um, those are single color so you have to get uh, multiple string blades if you want to uh, have different colors. I know that, um, that Makoto creates a string blade uh, that changes colors, so that's RGB and I don't actually have one on hand here but uh, the idea is that all along the string uh, all in the string are LEDs that uh, change color red green and blue and you can tune it with like a little, a little dial and I don't have one of those uh, I, don't, I don't have any Makoto's on hand to, to test just my own uh, string blades here I have some of the new NeoPixel uh, technology and then I have one lightsaber with the regular uh, inhaled LED that most people are probably used to. So if, if you're into sabers, if you're on the Facebook groups or you're looking at forums and you're looking uh, and most most of the lightsabers that people use as uh, as their um, personal sabers, you know, uh, higher end uh, lightsabers use what's what's called uh, a tri-rebel or d different different makes of this like XPE uh, 2 I know is out there and others there's different names for for these different types this right here happens to be uh, a Luxion style uh, 3 like a like a tri LED BB white so there's two blues and if you can tell there's a, a little yellow diode which is actually the white and uh, the way this is wired that this is just put into into the hilt like this JQ Anakin lightsaber right here has a BBW so blue 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 white that's placed in the uh, in the uh, lens holder or below the lens holder and uh, atop the uh, LED holder and usually, you know, always on top of a heat sink. This generates some heat, and a copper heat sink will dissipate the heat and uh, allow for a flashlight style. Father's light saber. So, this um, this lightsaber has a BBW, the LED in the uh, in the emitter. So. I have a blade plug in here right now. So this is a really nice blue blade. And what I found is the BB, the different BBWs, I'm just talking about blues right now. So BBW, blue, blue, white. The different ones that I've sampled have different bins or different hues. Okay, so sometimes you can get one, a, a BBW, uh, that could be more royal, um, more of a royal blue. And 
other other companies may sell a BBW uh, that looks more in the cyan range, and then yet other companies will have a BBW where the blues look more like a sky blue or like an ice blue. Um, also, when you have a LED like a tri you can mix the different diodes uh, through your programming, through your wiring, whether you're using a Plector Labs board, an NEC board, a DIY Eno board, a TNC sound board, any, any of the sound boards that are out. Um, you can wire it in such a way, program the card in such a way, that you will mix the colors, let's say red and blue for purple. If you have a RGB LED in your hilt, you might want purple and you'll mix red and blue. Um, in this case, this is just pure blue, but this I would say is on the sky blue range. So I'm really happy with um, the LED that JQ Sabres chose for this Anakin uh, because it's really, really bright, really, really nice. I've got fresh batteries in this right now. Um, it also has the white coming in for the clash. Okay, so right now I have a clear Django blade, so Django Fett from FX Saber Forms made this blade, and we will put it into the light meter and see what we have here. Okay, now I hope I can do this in a way where I can show you guys. Father's lightsaber. Now, an LED lightsaber is sometimes brighter, or is oftentimes brighter, by the, by the emitter. So I think if I moved it closer to the emitter, we should get the best number we can get. So let's see, it says 75, 74. Now it does have the, uh, the one by. So I, I think, I think if uh, Stephen can correct me in the comments, but I, I do believe at this reading where there's a decimal, that it would be in the 700 range there. Um, and we, yeah, we're significantly less down by the end. Okay, it's in, its, it's in the 40s, 46, 45, so I think that means 400 lux. You know, in person, that's a really nice, really nice blade. And what I have here is what what you would do if you didn't want to have a reduction in your in your light in the middle or at the end or the tip of the blade is you could do a string blade or a series of LEDs uh, up and down the blade. Now this is a uh, Anakin saber from uh, Master Replicas or Hasbro, one of the, one of the companies that made this in 2005. Let's see, it's a, it's a Master Replicas. And this has got the standard blue blade. And as you can see, it scrolls. So that's the same idea as a, as a string blade, and also the same idea that it would be the same brightness all the way up and down. So let's stick this in the light meter and see what the basic um, Master Replicas toy style lightsaber, you know, the higher end toy. Um, Okay, so I think we are at a hundred. We have ten dot two. Uh, I think that means this is like a hundred, and we are pretty even. It's a little drop off towards the end. I know ninety nine a hundred. Hundred lux for the standard lightsaber from Master Replicas, two thousand five. Okay, so. For any of you that, that don't know about uh, what, a, what a string blade looks like underneath 
underneath all this diffusion and tubing. So what I, what I have here is one of my string blades um, that I constructed out of five millimeter LEDs and also three millimeter LEDs. Um, as you may know, the Plector Labs Crystal Focus LS supports um, the flash on clash feature, which, which you could have a separate LED string. So this is basically what the LED string is made up of. This is a series of five millimeter LEDs now this is in a certain wiring configuration to be one segment although it's actually three mini segments uh, just because of the way I have to wire it for uh, the battery uh, which this is made for a 7.4 lithium ion battery and the blade would contain six of these segments which is made up of three mini segments like I said and the blade would contain uh, these LEDs all the way up and down the wiring uh, schematic for this is in the Plector Labs uh, Crystal Focus LS manual. If you wanted to build your own string blade, or you can go to the uh, DIY Eno uh, manual. Just type in DIY Eno manual uh, in Google, and you'll see uh, how to make a string blade. You could. Uh, you have to know what, what color you're going to use first. Uh, warm colors are wired differently than cool colors. So this right here happens to be a warmer color. Um, these are yellow LEDs and I had to wire them a certain way in these three segments. Okay, and there's six of those uh, complete segments in a blade like this, although this is a, um, a blue blade. And this is a very even light all the way up and down. But since there's six segments individually controlled by uh, whatever sound card you're using, a DIY Eno or a Crystal Focus LS, um, each segment will light up in series, okay? And you can control the, the speed of it. So some people like a faster ignition and a slow retraction, or they want a fast ignition and retraction, or they want to look like like a Sith that a slow ignition, maybe a slow retraction, or a slow ignition and a fast uh, retraction, or, or depending on the way the font sounds like. Um, but when the ignition is going slow, you can actually see different, se you know, the segments lighting up, um, and you can almost tell, like, hey, that's made up of segments, you know, that's not as smooth uh, as you would think, unless you turn up the speed a little bit, then all of a sudden, you know, it looks it looks like it should. Okay, now what um, the drawbacks for the string blades have always been is that you can't change colors. Okay, so LED technology, like I like I showed you, the inhale LED technology has changed pretty rapidly over the past uh, ten years, and uh, you've been allowed to you know, use an RGB LED to change colors on your lightsaber basically on the fly. You know, once the prism board came out, um, you, all you had to do was do a hand motion and you would, and you would change colors. Um, if you have the, the NEC igniter um, or the spark color, you will be able to do the same thing. So you could use a RGB LED, go from purple to red to green to any, any mixture that you can think of, uh, literally thousands of colors. Uh, with the string blade limitation has always been it's a uh, super expensive so it's the most expensive lightsaber option because you're building a component blade made up of hundreds of LEDs instead of just buying one LED and you've not been able to change colors um, you know some people uh, also want to have uh, you know not only the color change feature but uh, there's probably some other things I'm not quite thinking of right now that maybe a string blade can't do. Um, you know, like I said before, the pros are that uh, that it's brighter overall. String blade is usually brighter and it's more even. So you have uh, the evenness that that goes all the way up to the tip. Okay, so the new technology that has come out is the NeoPixel LED, and I'll explain. Um, what what those are. So the NeoPixel LED is basically 
an RGB LED with a computer chip attached. And basically, um, you're able to do anything with it that you can think of um, and, and beyond, basically. So the potential for the NeoPixel is just starting to be tapped right now. Now, this is a portion of a NeoPixel blade. Now, these don't have to be built in segments like I showed you a minute ago with the segmented string blades uh, that operate one at a time. The segments operate one at a time. These LEDs here are actually computer controlled with a mini chip that you can't see uh, in there. In each LED has a little mini chip. And what you can do with these is program them via any number of, of, of new lightsaber controllers. So Plector Labs has a, a few out already. Uh, you could do it with the Nano Biscotti V4. You could do it with the Prism V5. Probably soon to be in more Plector products. You can do this with uh, Igniter 2. You can do this with uh, DIY Eno. Uh, you can do this with uh, some um, Adafruit configurations like the Teensy. And even, even some other boards, and there's more coming out all, all the time. Uh, you can actually create your own from some, some uh, Adafruit products uh, using their Arduino system to uh, build your own controller for, for these, uh, for inside your hilt, if you really wanted to go that far. Okay, so the term NeoPixel is almost like, it's almost like Kleenexes, you know? So Kleenex is, you know, hand me a Kleenex, but uh, it's really a tissue, you know, Kleenex is the, is the name brand of a certain tissue. NeoPixel is the Adafruit brand of individually addressable LEDs, which that's what this is. The chip inside gives you the ability to individually speak to each LED in whatever uh, configuration you can program. Now there's a lot of options already out there. People have already programmed. Uh, different configurations. Um, so there's different forums where you can go and download uh, configurations for your NeoPixel or individually addressable LEDs. And different brands of the individually addressable LEDs have different uh, programming configurations. So sometimes, sometimes what will happen is um, you think it's RGB, but it's really uh, GRB, meaning uh, instead of red, blue, green, it's uh, green, blue, red. So your programming may have to change depending on what what series, what model you are using. And this is all described in, in these manuals. So if you, if you go to the PRISM uh, or the Nano Biscotti manual on the Plector Labs website, you'll be able to look through the manual and actually see the different um, coding for, for the individually addressable LED string that, that you purchase that, you know, or that you're building. Now, if you don't want to build your own LED string like, like I started here with five millimeter individually addressable NeoPixels, those that I held up were actually from uh, SparkFun, so that's an, a website that sells uh, LED products. Um, if you don't want to build your own like that, uh, which is you, ha you have to painstakingly do by hand each LED one at a time, there's strips available. They come in a meter, and they look like this. Okay, so this you can actually can see the chip. Okay, right next to each LED, there's three pads three copper contacts and right in, next to the LED are, is, the, is the chip. Now this also contains um, a capacitor which sort of addresses one of the issues with, the, uh, with these early models of individually addressable LEDs. So the ones that I showed you here, five millimeter, for right now these have an issue when you uh, give them power even before they're activated, it'll flash the native color, the first LED color. So this is going to flash like blue um, just for a second. And then you'll be able to utilize your lightsaber normally. Just when you like, when you pull the kill key, and I'll show you an example of this, and you pull the kill key, it'll flash blue, and you might have uh, 
you know, one or half a second of blue and then you're, you're back to normal. On the Nano Biscotti, as you'll see, when you switch fonts, um, it, it resets the power to the board and resetting the power to the board makes the LED string flash um, for a second. Now, this strip type, what I'm calling the strip style, this comes in like a roll of a, a meter, you can get longer, I think. This is actually from the Adafruit website, and this one has the protection in it that it does not flash its uh, first, first diode color on these at all. So when you pull the Kilki, when you give this power, it's going to work like a normal lightsaber. It's just going to work when you press the ignition button, when you press the activation button. That's the only time you're going to see light from this. Okay, so really awesome stuff is possible here. Because they're, com because they're computer controlled, now you will see the LEDs go on one at a time. All right, so let me show you the blue flash issue that's happening right now with these early Okay, so you saw that flash blue for a second. As you see, a very smooth ignition, very smooth retraction. Let me just go to a slower font here. Okay, so very smooth. Very smooth ignition because the, the, the SD card in here is set to control these LEDs one at a time as they go up and there are uh, there are a hundred there are a hundred of this style five millimeter okay um, only these are the Adafruit NeoPixel diffused style this is uh, the one I just showed you is Spark Fun clear. Those are actually, uh, I don't think you can get those anymore. Maybe you can get the, uh, the diffuse style from there. You can go to Adafruit. Uh, their clear head LEDs are also discontinued, but the diffused uh, hat LEDs are in stock. Okay, so this is the NeoPixel. It's set to uh, using the Nano Biscotti V4, and this is, uh, this is, activating this like cyan color that I program in the SD card. Uh, so what I did was I just kind of mixed blue and green. I actually have a little bit of red in there. Uh, the way the settings for Plector Labs works is the maximum is 1023. So I have red at 100 here. I have green at like 900 and I have blue at 1023. Getting this, uh, this really nice cyan color, uh, which I can test for you guys real quick. Now, being a string blade, be, being a strip blade, I uh, know this is a string blade. Sorry, this is the string blade. This should be even all the way up and down. Okay, I'm getting uh, about two thousand. It looks like uh, or two fifty six, if I'm reading it wrong. So, like I said, Stephen will tell me. Um, I, I know how to read it when there's no decimal, but when, when there's a decimal, I have a little trouble. Um, but I, be, I believe it's 2,000 here. And let's see if we can get a flash. Uh, it jumps up a little bit on the flash to like uh, 2,600. And I could change the color here. This is a green. Also firing about the same, a little higher, 2800. Green is always um, one of the brighter spectrums. 27, 28, 287, 296. Trying to activate the flash here while it's in the box. Um, And I'll go to the purple. Give in to your anger. 
Now I'm not writing these numbers down. I figure I can go back and look at the video at the end and write down all of all of uh, all of the numbers that we find here together. Okay, so this is purple. 150. I didn't expect this one to be the brightest. Uh, could be 1,000, 1,500, um, which is which is very nice. The uh, colors such as like red, yellow, purple, um, any UV colors are not going to be in the brightest spectrum. The brightest spectrum is going to be white, green, and blue. Okay, so this is the, the string. NeoPixel version. Let me show you guys uh, what the strip looks like. I'm actually going to put on my gloves because I have a very, very shined up, polished up lightsaber that I haven't really revealed yet, but uh, I'll make a video of this one. Okay, so this is I actually just have a little little Shoto blade that I made. Uh, this is a, a string. So th this is the same uh, computer controlled chips, individually addressable LEDs that that uh, we just saw over there. Uh, only instead of five millimeter, these are actually eight millimeter LEDs. Uh, turns out they're not more powerful yet uh, they're, this, they're the same technology that's in the five millimeter I've come to find out so it's just a little more diffusion and they're the bigger bigger eight millimeter LEDs uh, but they're not brighter they're not more special um, than the uh, than the five millimeter I just showed you I just want to get to showing you the strip style blade so what I'm about to plug in it's two of these strips inside this blade I'm about to show you and they're back to back so they're kind of in a heat shrink wrap uh, suckered together back to back and they are isolated from each other but they're wired together okay and in, in, in a NeoPixel it's important to note that there's only three connections okay that's what makes it super easy um, you can get the these strips and make your own blade okay uh, you can use just use just three connections to get an amazing amount of special effects um, what we're talking about here with the individually addressable LEDs for smooth ignition smooth retraction and also really cool blaster and clash effects that um, you can choose at any color you want the other cool thing is the sky's the limit uh, with what you can do. Now, if you look at uh, on YouTube, look up Andres Kuhn, K-U-N, and you will be A-N-D-R-A-S-K-U-N. Okay, that's his name. Uh, he has a YouTube channel. He's the maker of the DIY Eno, and he will show you on some of his videos different effects like fire, uh, like blue fire, different things that you can program uh, these NeoPixels to do, or these individually addressable LEDs to do. And uh, changing colors and stuff like that is just the tip of the iceberg. So just, just keep that in the back of your mind, you know. Um, not only can you, you change colors, it's almost like having 10 or 20 or 40 blades in one, right? You know, you can have different colors uh, all with the same blade. Just by building one blade or buying one blade, uh, you just you will have access to uh, any number of colors plus, like I said, different different effects that were just never available before. Because you can control each LED individually, you can you can do any type of ignition scheme you can think of. You can do um, you know any type of special effect that can be contained in, inside the blade uh, that that you can think of. You can have. Uh, sparkling lights, you can have a rainbow blade, you can have a yellow blade, a blue blade, a fire blade, uh, Kylo Ren style unstable blade, a uh, stable blade in one color if you want, just utilize uh, one of the uh, one of the LEDs, either R, or G, or B. Now, um, you know, not to bombard you with information, but I'm assuming if you're watching this video that you want all the information, and uh, one 
one thing that's coming out um, or that that's out already uh, in in this strip variety okay so in these LED strips like I said it's an RGB LED every every couple millimeters or so and what they what they have out there is uh, RGBW so by throwing that W in there that means there's four mini diodes in there uh, able to produce red green blue and white so that white core effect maybe that's going to be possible more so uh, with these with these strips with the NeoPixel LEDs uh, you'll be able to mix white in there to get light blues light greens pinkish reds uh, nicer purples, better flashes, uh, blaster effects in white, um, and any mixture, like I said, the sky's the limit. Your imagination is the only limitation to what you can program into uh, the individually addressable LEDs. Okay, so this blade here is two strips back to back. Um, this is in a different configuration than the Shoto blade I just had in here, like I said, a different model number because it's a strip and not those five millimeter or eight millimeter LEDs. Now I have my plug wired the same in this in this lightsaber. This is this is the really cool part if you can understand this. So the way the card is, whether you use a DIY Eno or a, a, a plector board or an igniter. What you do is you wire that board to your whatever whatever plug you're going to use. Now some people want to use uh, like a like a power plug because it has three connections. Three connections is all you need. Um, so you could use a 2.1 millimeter power plug like you see in this lightsaber in the emitter. You could use that in, in the emitter. Have a little nub on the end of your blade that connects to those three connections, which connect to your soundboard. You could do what I did, which is look at the uh, Plector manual, get the get the dim plug that he recommends. Uh, okay, uh, search that out. Um, the, he even has a link for it in in the manual. You can buy them off Amazon. Um, you put them in your blade, put them in your hilt. Now, if you go to make a five millimeter uh, uh, strip, or you upgrade to maybe maybe a newer strip comes out. What you do is you wire it the exact same way in your blade. You plug it in. That blade, even if it's a different style of individually addressable LED, is going to work in your lightsaber. So, as you can see here, I have a red blade. And with, with the prism, which is in here, the prism version 5, really cool... Uh, effects when you hit both buttons at the same time. So I'm changing from red to orange to yellow to green. I'm all at the push of a button here. Okay, with the, with the Nano, for right now, you have to program in the mini SD card. So you have to have access to your little mini SD card and your lightsaber, unscrew the pommel, or however you get to it, take it out, insert into your computer, program it. With the prism, the nice thing is we have two buttons here and we can uh, cycle through, I think it's 12 colors. Okay, so nice cyan came through. A nice blue. Another nice blue. And it's very even here. I mean, two strips back to back, I can barely tell. I can barely, oh, I'm starting, I can tell a little bit through my diffusion here. I can start to see uh, the individually LED, individual LEDs a little bit. Now, what I have powering this card, uh, this lightsaber, is the Orbtronic high uh, MAH uh, battery, uh, high drain battery and uh, this is actually the 26650 which is just a monster like double the size of like an 18650 fatness wise um, you could also use an 18650 only requires one cell to run uh, the uh, the individually addressable LED blade the more strips you put in like I said this is two some people want to put three around a dowel or around a, a little iron a, a little metal cylinder inside their blade Personally, I think this is 
this is the only combination that you need. Putting, putting three strips is going to be heavier. You have a lot of material here with the strips that we have now. Um, you know, the strips that we have now, the ones that I, that I showed you, the one that's, the, 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 the two strips that are in this blade are actually the, um, the, the strip here is a narrow, is what's called, I think it's called a narrow strip or it's called a thin strip. Um, the, the normal, uh, the normal strips that they sell at Adafruit and elsewhere are fatter than this. Uh, so it, the, for a lightsaber building, the smaller the better, you, the smaller the better. You run out of room real quick. And what you want is, and that even goes for inside the blade, and what you want is the less material the better. So here, you know, we have this white backing tape. Uh, we have these contacts. We have uh, the chip and the LED, and it's a lot of material that light has to pass through. What we probably will need in the future, uh, if anyone from these companies are listening, like Adafruit or any of these LED companies, um, how about put the strip on a clear strip if possible? Uh, so I'm sure that could be great for a lot of different applications. Instead of a white or black choice, we'll have white, black, or clear. Clear will be great for lightsaber people like us because we we want to have the least amount of material inside the blade when people want to stick a three and four I heard somebody say on the forums they want to put four they want to make like a square out of it first of all you're gonna have less diffusion you're gonna have more seams and more weight now you want a lightsaber to feel like a light saber uh, not just from light but a, a lightsaber blade is supposed to supposed to be non-existent you know it's light it's plasma um, so the lighter the better when it comes to our props because we don't want to feel like we are lifting weights while we're playing with our lightsaber we, we want to feel like it's a natural um, it's a natural plasma beam or a, a natural plasma beam let's finish cycling through these colors on the prism um, while I continue to give you guys an ear beating Okay, so we're gonna purple, pinks. Well, that's really nice. That's like a a reddish purple magenta. And I think back to red. All right, so let's stick this in the light meter and uh, see what we come out with for these colors. This could get a little bit boring for some people, but. Um, if you're if you're interested in what the brightness is on these things, I'm also going to compare them to to my string blades. Kind of saving the brightest for last. Oops. I normally do this on a table, so excuse my clumsiness, but it is just I want you guys to see these numbers. I've got a few requests from people; they want to see the numbers. So, okay, so we have. 319, 320, and that's one by, which means we're going to add a zero at the end. There's no decimal here. And uh, I got confirmation from, from Steven over the phone that when there's, I didn't ask him about the decimal, but I asked him about uh, what what this was. And uh, these, when, it, when there's three digits there, you add a zero. So we have uh, 308, 310. So we're basically looking at 3,000, which is very nice. The, the red is, we got 290 something. The red is just awesome. Now let's see, uh, I got a flash there of like blue, so we kind of get a preview that the blue is probably gonna be 6,000, like we got on the star killer. Okay, let's change colors. We got a orangey yellow at hit 4,000. That's really nice because I guess we have uh, red and green mixing together to make a nice orange at almost 4,000. Oh, we just rose to 5,500 on this green and red mix which comes out to be a beautiful yellow. And we're into the green spectrum at over 6,000. That's very nice. Very nice green at over 6,000. Into the cyan range at 6,000. Like I said, blue and green are going to be the brightest. 
This strip is an RGB strip. There is no white. The Plector products at this point in time cannot do the W. So you, uh, maybe in a future edition of, uh, you, you know, who knows, maybe a crystal focus in the future, we'll be able to do white. Okay, so I don't know. I got a decimal. Um, the royal blue at either 87 or 846. I'll have to figure that out. I'm thinking... I don't know. I'm seeing a 111, 115.4. It's getting into the purple range. Okay, now we are... We are in the 2000 range. Back to getting back up there with the with the reddish pink. It's a little bit fluctuating because of the uh, pulse effect on our lightsaber. If you really want a true reading, um, you would have to have a, uh, a static lightsaber. But I think we get a pretty good idea. It's not fluctuating too much. Okay. Now that is the that is the strip blade times two prism v5 now we're going to get to some of my string blades we'll start with whatever is my father's lightsaber lightsaber acting up here um what we're going to do is we're going to start with my newest blue real blue okay so this is uh, white LEDs they're five millimeter like I showed you in the beginning of the video but it's in a blue tube so at the custom saber shop you can get many different tubes now this is what's called a day blade so a lot of people that go to the comic cons and the different uh, uh, cosplay events they want to have a blade in their lightsaber that, that represents the color of their actual blade color because sometimes in the, in the middle of the day you can't see your lightsaber on so if you have a blue lightsaber and you dress up like a Jedi some people don't know that you have a blue lightsaber because it's just a clear tube with the day blades from the custom saber shop it's meant to be in your lightsaber in the daytime and people can see that oh you're a Jedi or oh you have a red lightsaber so you're a bad guy and uh, it doesn't have to be on because it's actually tinted blue but what I'm using it a little bit differently. I actually have um, LEDs running up the entire thing. Um, you could see a video about this blade. I think I have a video about this blade. Um, so this is uh, just a super bright blue with like a super bright white LEDs with blue a blue aura because of the day blade. You know, the light passes through the day blade and appears blue. <sighs> Okay, so 7,000, 7,600, 7,400. Let's see what happens when I hit the clash. It looks like we... 
Yeah, it's about the same. Maybe it's it reaches almost 750. And maybe. So even though this has a flash strip in it, it's not changing the brightness too much. Uh, but we are at a very high 7,000 range with this blue. Or with, I'm sorry, with this uh, white. White, with, you know, it's blue. <laughs> it's real blue. Now I have a uh, custom saber shop enhanced blue. Looks probably white to you, but uh, real white blade. See the white and the uh, custom saber shop enhanced blue. So what this has in it is a slight chemical effect of uh, enhancing light in the blue spectrum and what I have in, in, in inside this tube is uh, our blue LEDs instead of white like you just saw. See, I, don't I didn't think I was connecting here. There we go. Okay. So this is uh, blue LEDs inside a blue enhanced tube. To you know, write write this number down because when I get to the uh, blue LEDs inside a white tube, we want to compare. Okay, trying to balance this stuff here. What do we have here? 144, which could be almost, which could be 1,000, 4, I don't know what it is. But we have a white flash in here. One forty, one thirty-nine, one fifty, and if we I think it's I think it's meant to be red as 1500 okay so I just thought of a better way to do this so I'm just gonna run through all my blades um, that I have here there's just hopefully it doesn't get too uh, boring okay red LEDs inside a red enhanced tube from the custom saber shop this also has chemicals in it to make it even brighter than the red LEDs themselves. Okay, so this is just wild. I knew this one was over 10,000 from the test that we did the other night. Um, this is just one of the brightest lightsabers I, I've literally ever seen. Um, this red is ridiculous. So it's it's like 10,000. Uh, let's see if it changes with the flash. Nah, it's like 9,000 with flash. It actually goes down a little bit. We have a certain Farfalla gold. Let's see what we got here. 6,000, 6,900, 6,970, 6,600. And about 6,600 with the flash. Okay, what do we got here? Got one of my original blues. Okay, so it's not the best example. This has some nice blue LEDs in it, though. But it's just one of my earlier builds. We're getting 75.9, 675.8, 75 the flash brings it up to over 2,900. The flash on here with these cool white LEDs is just wild. Let's see what else we got here. I have. Uh my arc blade basically white LEDs now these are the flash these are the LEDs I normally use for the flash strip but I built them into a blade and let's see how bright those are oh wow um, over 12,000 and using the flash uh, doesn't really 
increase it that much, but we, we hit over 12,000 with this arc blade. White LEDs. Okay, I have uh, one of my newest Boyega Blues. One forty nine, one fifty three, one fifty six point seven, and the flash brings us to uh, bring brought us over a thousand. Two eighty, two eighty point something, and even hit over a thousand at one point. Now I've got a red here that isn't really a red. It's a day blade red tube with purple LEDs inside of this. You guys may have seen me on Saber Talk 12 with this one. Let's see if I didn't plug it in properly. This uh, is not the brightest red. It's not going to compare to that 10,000 red because it's really purple LEDs. Uh, it's just made to look like a Vader red. So it's kind of, uh, the camera's trying to cope with it, but it's it's not the brightest. But let's um, stick it in here and see what we've got. 82.7, 83.5. And I have a yellow flash on this as we're getting 116, 124. I saw 130. 130 point something. Okay, we have one of my mixture blades. This one is ice. This is just for fun because uh, the uh, the ice blade isn't really a isn't really a uh, standard, you know, it's just a, a mixture I made. So we have 20, 20, 233.1, 234.7. The flash should be about the same. There actually is no flash strip in here. It's just card effects. Okay, do you remember what the uh, NeoPixel purple was from before? Let's see how my purple does. This is like my first purple. This one isn't really for sale. It's not. It's not the smoothest. Uh, it's not the best one. Uh, Forty-four point seven. See so that the flash brings it up to uh, one ninety-seven. I saw one sixty-six, one eighty-nine, two ten. Normally in the forties for the purple. Like I said, these UV style colors are going to be the weakest on the meter. Okay, so I have a white here. This is 8 millimeter white, I believe. Or no, this is, I think, 5 millimeter white. Yeah, this is a 5 millimeter white, and we are at uh, oh, 11,000, 11,000, 10,000. White's going to be one of the brightest colors, and this is a really bright 360-degree uh, white LED. So I don't doubt that uh, we are hitting those numbers of 1,100. Okay, my Viridian, uh, which is a mixture, well, my, my first attempt at Viridian, which is a mixture of uh, over 600 white and green LEDs. It's kind of a heavy blade, like I talked about before. I don't like that. But we are 860, or um, I'm sorry, yeah, 860 with the one by is uh, is 8,000. Uh, so that's pretty impressive. And there's no flash, but I'll use the effects, see if we can get any brighter. Now I saw 8,700 was the highest I saw. Okay, so hopefully that gives you guys a bunch of insight into how bright uh, lightsaber blades are and how bright string blades are and also uh, a lot of good info I hope 
about the uh, individually addressable LEDs or NeoPixel as they're called. Thanks for checking this out. I hope I hope uh, you didn't tune out by now um, with all this uh, testing going on. But some people requested to see these hard numbers now. Um, for the photonic blade, uh, the green one, I'll have to wait until I construct a new one. I'm, I'm all out of uh, my, my, uh, my friends and my customers have, have the photonic, uh, the best photonic blades. Um, right now I don't have any built. But as soon as I build the next one, I'll pull out the meter and this box here. And we'll find out. Uh, I think that one, the last time I tested it was uh, 12,000. So it's probably not that hard to believe. Um, now that you've seen some of the white hit 12,000, it's basically just uh, the blue LEDs um, inside the photonic tube, which like amplifies. It's like the most amplified uh, I've seen, uh, even more so than the red. And it's designed that way. Okay, so the photonic green tube has got the most uh, chemical effect to it. Um, that's just the nature of, of that type of science as explained by Photonic Bladesmith. If you want to look that up on the FX Saber forums, um, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, but until next time, um, Space Windu, and hope you enjoyed this video. And